one of the best small record labels for U.S. death metal is Grindcore Records with these releases here. And I'll show you these. 1991, 1992, and 1993 only. Grindcore was a subsidiary of Red Light Records, who went on later in 1994 to release these three gems. My favorite of the Red Light series were Oppressor, Solstice of Oppression, from Chicago, from Toledo, Ohio, Gutted, Weed for Us to Live. And from Chicago, Cyanide, the second album, A Descent into Hell. Mark Nawara of Grindcore eventually went on to pavement music and crash music, but his Grindcore selection looked like this. The U.S. edition of Accidental Suicide Deceased album from Milwaukee, Wisconsin looked like this. Here's the Grindcore edition, and here's their logo, Grindcore Records. The European edition was a little bit lighter, didn't quite look as brutal on the cover, but the CD looks really cool. That's the uh, Europe, European edition. Afterlife from Indiana, the original edition looks like this. It's a really nice, killer old school death metal. They picked up At The Gates debut album, The Red in the Sky is Ours, from Gothenburg, Sweden. And looks like this. There's the Grindcore logo right there. Broken Hopes debut album, Swamped in Gore. That's the original first edition on Grindcore. And then later when Metal Blade picked up Broken Hope, they did this cover. So this cover is just as well known. And Metal Blade had released like the second album, Balls of Repugnance, and Repulsive Conception, Loathing. These are all the Metal Blade and Broken Hope kind of took off. So Cyanide's de debut album, The Dying Truth of Chicago, Illinois, looked like this. It's a really, really nice, thick CD on Grindcore. And then they picked up a band from England called Impaler, the Charnel Deity album. It's a very good album. Nice and raw and brutal. I do like many of the riffs on here. From Sheboygan, Wisconsin, Morbid Saint, Spectrum of Death. This is kind of a nice death thrash. Again, good quality CD on the Grindcore record label. Morgue, Eroded Thoughts, another Illinois band. That is a classic image. Classic death metal. It's a gem. Um, not quite as good as Victims of Internal Decay. I thought this was kind of weak on the bass. I've only spun it a couple of times since I've owned it. Paralysis from Louisiana. So down south, United States and Louisiana, same state as Exorder, was Paralysis, Patrons of the Dark. And this is a nice, brutal release on Grindcore Records. They also picked up Therian of Stockholm, Sweden. So At the Gates from Gothenburg and Therian from Stockholm. This is their Of Darkness debut album, Grindcore. One band from Mexico, Transmetal, Burial at Sea. This is actually a reissue of their 1990 album, but the Burial at Sea on Grindcore came out in 1992. And then we've got Vital Remains debut album, Let Us Pray. This band is from Rhode Island, so East Coast, United States. So we have on Grindcore a handful of bands from the Midwest, where they were from, one band from Oregon, one from Louisiana, one from Rhode Island, and then another one that's worth mentioning is the Death Row. This is a compilation that's got all of the bands I just mentioned, Cyanide, Impaler, Therian, At the Gates, Accidental Suicide, Vital Remains, Paralysis, Morgue, and Afterlife. If you made it this far, I'm also going to show you one more bonus. This is the Destruction System bootleg that came out of their demo. It claims to be on Grindcore. It's an unofficial release, but it actually sounds really, really good, and it's worth getting if you get your hands on it. Thanks for watching Grindcore International and Red Light Records.